In today's fossil preparation video, we're going to be preparing a large Phyloceros ammonite. This is a video which I actually started a couple of years ago, maybe even three years ago now. When we first found the fossil, we removed quite a bit of the rock and just recently, we've managed to pick the project back up and finish preparing it. I'll show you all the footage that I recorded initially of us starting to prepare it. And then at the end of the video, I've got the finished fossil for you to have a really good look at. It's got some really interesting features on it. But well, first of all, let's get started. Have a look at the fossil as we found it and watch the preparation progress. Let's start having a look. We've not made too many fossil preparation videos so far. However, have a watch of this video. And if you do like it, let us know in the comments and we can certainly consider making some more fossil preparation videos in the future. I hope you enjoy this one. Let's head back a couple of years and look at the preparation footage that I started taking. Here's the big partial phyloceros ammonite. So as you can tell, unfortunately, there's a big chink missing on both sides. That's just the way it goes with these specimens a lot of the time. Just they're not fully preserved or sometimes they are fully preserved, but unfortunately they're just paper thin. We were quite lucky that this one, as it broke through the cross section, we can see that the center of the specimen is fully intact, or at least appears to be at this point. We've done a little bit of work on it so far, just thinning it out, and there's still quite a lot more stone to be thinned out. You can see the rock is pretty tough. Some beautiful shell exposed up here, and also some loose shale on top of it. My dad is now going to remove some more of this stone. We're going to be using the air pneumatic tools to remove the bulk of the limestone from this fossil. He's already started to remove quite a bit of it, but he is removing some more. There's quite a thick layer covering the majority of the fossil. That can be both a good thing and a bad thing. In this case, it was actually quite good because the fossil underneath has been completely protected by the limestone nodule. Sometimes the limestone makes the fossils more difficult to prepare. Sometimes it makes it easier. It very much just depends on the fossil, how you choose to prepare it, and the tools that you've got available to you. At the moment, it's just quite general work, really, just removing the rock. But as we get closer to the fossil, we'll have to become a lot finer with the tools that we're using to make sure that we reveal the finer details very carefully. And there's a little look at some fossilized bones, which my dad was preparing. Those bones are now actually completely finished. If you'd like to have a look at them in the finished form on another video, do let me know and we can certainly have a look. Regarding the large chink missing out of one of the outer worlds, that was actually missing when it was fossilized hasn't eroded away that is literally how it fossilized so we're going to consider repairing that to restore the ammonite back to its full size now that we've removed the majority of the bulk of the rock the next steps are to remove a lot of the smaller pieces and reveal the finer details of the fossil there's also that part of the fossil which was never preserved in the first place which we will restore we have to decide whether to restore the fossil or leave it completely empty and have the ammonite feel disturbed by the missing piece. We decided to restore it, thought that made it look better. And of course, if the fossil was ever going to be studied or anything, we would point out the fact that that piece had actually been restored. Let's continue looking at the preparation of the fossil, then we'll have a look at the finished thing. The fossil preparation is going well so far. So far, so good. We've thinned out quite a lot. Still a lot more work to do. In terms of the fossil preparation footage, which I managed to capture, I've got another minute or so, then we'll be looking at the finished fossil. My dad recently finished restoring it, preparing it, and it's perfectly ready for display now. However, due to being busy with work and various other things, I've not managed to record any of the latest fossil preparation footage. See there, we're getting very close to the outer wall and the shell underneath is now starting to be revealed. It's 
quite satisfying to watch the fossil very gradually become exposed. However, it can be a very long, time-consuming process if you're the one actually preparing it. There's a lot more work that goes into fossil preparation than people generally think. From watching my dad prepare all kinds of fossils, it's really highlighted to me just how skilled the process is and how much dedication it takes. And me and Shay are incredibly lucky to have our dad able to and willing to prepare these fossils. In just a moment, we'll have a look at the finished thing. That's all the preparation footage I have of this fossil. Next thing to do is look at the finished result. Let's have a look at it. First of all, I've got some photos to have a look at. You can see here in this first one, a lot of the pyrite and the suture lines. It's got very fine ribbing throughout the entire ammonite, which is really nice to see. You can see there a really nice mouth border as well on the outer wall. Got some more of the finer ribbing here, and in a moment you'll be able to see what looks like some sort of tooth marks in the outer shell. If you look here at the bottom left of the fossil, you can see three indentations, and we think those are the tooth marks potentially, which led to the death of this fossil. I've got another close-up of those potential tooth marks in just a moment, but here's a look at the entire specimen. It's hard to know for sure if they're teeth marks, but we're pretty confident that they are. They're just in the bottom middle of the photo there, as you can see. Really interesting part to the story of this fossil, if that's what they indeed are. Now let's have a look at the fossil on video. You can see by us holding it, just the sheer size of this specimen. It's really, really impressive to hold. This is one of our biggest examples of this particular species of ammonite. Very uncommon to find at this size, especially in their 3D form. You can sometimes find them completely crushed flat or just partial segments of them. But to get one this big and intact and complete, it's really unusual. I've only found one or maybe even two that of this quality and at this size. And that's over the entire time that we've been collecting, so a good 15 or more years. So that's a look at the overall finished fossil. Really hope you've enjoyed having a look at it. And there we have it. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video to see how the preparation of this fossil unfolded. An absolutely stunning piece to add to our collection and hopefully we find something else similar in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Just to end off the video, I've got a shot from one of our fossil hunts looking at the sea as it was coming in.